I think that would vindicate the decision to move north of the border. Yeah, well, Phil, everybody that's lagged on this table, I mean almost everybody, has come up short of the top rail. Need to break. Well, that's a good look at his first break. Two, not calling the push out for those of you just joining us. <clears throat> you played over, cut it, maybe caught it too thin. Would have liked to have gotten. Doesn't want to clip the seven. Oh boy, this is ideal. MVP in the Moscone Cup as well. Yeah, and look at this shot. What a great kick that was. It's been a case of living dangerously for Elliot Sanderson. Age to make up his mind. No shot clock, of course, on the outside tables. When I say an age, it must have been at least four minutes. <laughs> well, Mike McMullen obviously told me the same situation, and he must have just had a brain freeze. That's why he qualified for today and then played very well against Roland Garcia, by all accounts. But you'll see, on the, even in the most subdued moments, it's a, a decibel-inducing shout. So if he wins this, he will raise the roof. Yeah, and speaking of raise the roof, he threw his cue about four foot up in the air, I believe yesterday evening. Marching band at a college football game, twirling the baton. Yes, he did. Oh, watch out here. Did you get a fortunate rub? Oh, that's nicely cued. That bodes well. Yeah, he looks pain, you can see. Well, he's going to go into the eight here. Chris Melling, one of the most sweet cueists of it. Allowing ball in hand for Melling. Well, all signs looking good for Chris. He's in the top left. And he's hitting the scores out there. Little zesty with the cue ball, Scott. Yeah, very good. cue ball up there and doesn't make this the five still in trouble I think it was 7-0 Sanderson and Shaw repeatedly came to the table clearly not a 7-0 beat down well, something happened there The cue of Johan Chua goes in the air. When kicking at pool balls. But this looks like he's going to leave. Much steeper angle. Yeah. And he did, by the way he had to play that. Oh, there's no way. I don't think it goes, does it? Oh, it does go. He had a gap there. How is this going to finish? Oh, yes, it does. It did go past the nine, but he caught it too thick. He caught it too... Is he 
coming backwards or going three rails here? Okay, I thought that was the right move. Coming backwards, risking crack. Elliot's. Oh, this one was at my expense. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll enjoy it then. Oh, you will. And I think Elliot. Not the cleanest of pots, but it's in any way. The other giant in action at the moment, Shane Van Boning 3-1 up on Alexander Kazakis. And to, to talk about, oh, look at the kiss. To yes, he's still to play his last 32 match, which is going to start imminently against Chang Yulong. And playing all cue ball here, and it went wrong. Yeah, it is quite the shirt. Well, he's really is hitting the. You've got to favor the man in red. Well, have I spoke too soon again, Phil? That was, though. Yeah, that... You don't have to hit it too hard. Just caught this too thin. Tensions are high, Phil. Yes, they most certainly... Or perceived movement. Yeah, I mean, I think that... You know, listen, we're all pool play as a fan to where you can't move. Nice strike there by Sanderson. Interesting fella. I like him. The Lord Shishap earlier in the tournament. But you can't fault that. In it goes. Elliot Sanderson leading by two racks to one. I've studied Higgins myself. What a legend. Well, look at this break, Phil. And Could this be the... Looks, and it is. A clean hit. Shot. It's not that he's trying to upset Melling's rhythm. He just can't pull the trigger sometimes. It well, the balls continue to go straight into the back of the pocket. It's three racks on the spin for Elliot Sanderson. Sanderson and Melling. Yeah, watch the cue ball, Phil. In the drink. Of energy. Yeah, he's young, but he's also human. What kind of impact will that have on the rest of his event to begin with? Yeah, quite a bit of deceleration there. That's a result. Now looking to come up and down. Everything real quick before he pulled the trigger. Well, this better stop spinning or it's going in the drink. I feel like this. Yeah, pretty good hit here, it needs to settle. Life 
Good for Elliot. The cat on the hot tin roof has really got his claws into this match. He won. You could feel a little extra tension in every one of these guys. They might change their minds. Yeah, very possible, Phil. Oh, I like this play here. In time, into his shots. As he does his kicking, how good would he really play? Well. Well, the three's going to open up here. Pink four. To get two games under your belt. Just a little extra dip. Much needed, gratefully received. Like him. It's the whole package. Normally, something is bestowed on a down table he used the eight because he could it's most likely just the Joshua filler show oh and he's got the point oh and look at this it's made with a cushion it's a, a form of brain freeze shot I don't know Phil if you noticed it or not but the backswing really quick again well that's what he had in mind he knew if he could catch the thin side of the pot might still be possible. It was. Yeah, I almost wonder if he had the gap and he needed to elevate to avoid the top. Elliot Sanderson keeping Chris Melling at arm's length. His lead is now increased to 5-2. I think it's going to do a lot for both Filler and Gorst. Listen. Oh, that's a bad kiss right there. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look at this. Melling quick to the 1-9. Yes, he's one of those players who, when he sees a combination on the 9-on, he will take it on. Filler and Gorst, all in the same half. Yeah, well, somebody's going to have to go on.
An open table for Chris. Fancy shot. Sweet. Melling equal to the task. He's back within one, surely. Indeed, that's the case. The reason they've done this is to make the game more difficult. The players are in favor of it. Oh, look at the contact. That nine. Now he's regrouped. Nice little rub. The eight does pass, and it doesn't take him long to get all tied up. When Chris Milling trailed 5-2, I think there was genuine cause for a degree of concern. Oh, the cue ball. Really unfriendly. Not even a cluster. Six PM on the, on the East Coast. Four o'clock on the east. And talking about east and west, this. Yeah, that makes both of us. Yeah, nice. Real nice. Elliot Sanderson back in front. For wins in his future. Problem is with sport, we were talking about this in another context. You've got to really fight your way through. Although, there's a counterpoint to that. Purple five hampering his bridge. Nice hit there. Listen. Boxy's place. That will be his biggest ever check. Yeah, well, it's not small, bad money. Just in case Elliot wins one more round, well, don't worry about it. He's that would be the quarterfinals. So, if you and this is the house pro. Last month, he was doing 14-hour shifts in the club, carrying out all of the. And he's dedicated to winning this match. The gap is back at two by the year. Okay, he's missed the one. First time in recent memory. So, is he trying to tuck behind the seven? Oh, look at this shot. 
going to leave a shot. Now goes forward to play Xiao Grio next. Yeah, the cue action is languid. There's that pause at the end of the backswing. Looks good. Right amount, but just enough. Oh, yes. Flowing now. He looks the more likely winner, even though he's behind. I'd have to agree. Dependability of his cue action, there should be no sweat. Well, there is one issue, right? It's late at night, there's a lot of people in here, and you can't control everyone. It just kind of tells me he's not 100% focused because a focused Chris Melling wouldn't notice what he just noticed. The movement came at just the right time before he addressed the ball so he was able to step away and he knocked it in at the end so over Chang Yulong one goes in followed by the two with a at least he had the presence of mind to step away from the table to regroup Lucky easy. But the five is missed. Who would have thought it? That's a... And yet, Elliot Sanderson right now in line to be the last surviving Brit. Up for the challenge. Elliot Sanderson back. Two to the good. At 8 6, he needs three more. Two. Just short again, Phil, but the one tracks up to the top left, and look at this. It's a musical term. Classical music it means bitty. Needs this to hop. Yeah. Challenge. So, does he just comes in at times. Stay through the ball. Oh, and he did very nicely. Yeah, stunned it. Can't blame him. 14 could ultimately be extremely costly. No problem, Elliot Sanderson. 9-6 succession, but he's won the seventh to trail Fedor Gorsh 5-2. Oh, just when you think that Sanderson might be getting on top. Must take advantage. Absolutely, this clearance just imperative. It's really, really important that he doesn't allow Sanderson to get on the hill. Because, of course, when Sanderson gets to the hill, he'll be breaking off next. 
at times to have a little bit of a loose cue ball. Everything okay? Tell you what, Scott, it's not been a slow-moving match, this. Yes, a few tactical racks, but by and large, it's been good stuff. Well, so far, the match he's involved in seems to be the easiest of the lot. But things can change. What a break-off that was. Wojciech Shevchik threw against Piers Labutis, 11-8. Oh, this is a nice strike. Don't under-hit this. Perfect. Odd days. And you know his standards will never slip. Oh, nicely done. Chris Melling. Within one. 4-1 down at his lowest ebb. The only time he's been in front in the match was 1-0. One is down. Phil, I believe the pink. Imagine him rolling this. And I can't blame him for doing that. Will he find the gap? Liable, but it wasn't sensible. I thought he might go at the bank there. Definitely picking up the pace. Good scratch off the back of the four. Well, he's caught it too thick. Might end up just fine. Two rails to the back of it. Yeah. Can he do it? To get within one of the final. Just you will as well. Been pretty odd. We haven't heard any complaints about the cleanliness of the tables. There's another wrinkle as well. Work of this rack. One more. Good shot. that one of the reasons Jason Shaw was having the cue ball clean, and I can't attest that it's the reason that these guys are. Saudi Arabia, just four matches left, still to be completed in the last 32. And short with the one. He's going to have a look. Somewhere in the range of where it's at now. Don't let up. Oh, I love the way he came there. I thought he might just come out one rail. Yeah, Melling has always been well equipped. There, uh, that trademark pause on his backswing. Pulls it back, waits then goes through as smooth as you like. Taking the balls quickly. Yeah, right. very quickly, Phil. Not allowing the situation to get in his head. I think it's a sensible move. The more negativity tends to creep in. Good rack from Chris Melling, that. One is down, the two is coming. Oh, look at this, Phil. He gets past the 
pink four here. I think we just didn't want to be on the left side of the three because he didn't want to deal with the five. There you can see that versatile bridge. Yeah, I don't think he thought he was going to catch the seven. Well, he used the black eight, the top left corner. Well, Phil, he's on the nine. Wow, what a match. Melling did really well there. I think he's reserved his best for the last couple of racks. He's played them beautifully. Well, the one is down. The two, laying. Guaranteed 15,000. The loser. Well, they've got seven. One heart. Remember Melling. Watch out, Black. Just in time, player. Does it hurt him? to do that. He should be out. Elliot Sanderson has that sinking feeling so far. And it's all changed after the scratch behind the three in the lower right. The nine ball wiggled and wobbled, but it just about went in to the immense relief of Chris Melling. This week he's gone through the pain barrier with the gout he's been suffering, but now he's feeling just good feelings. And I'll tell you what, that caught an awful lot of the far jaw before finally toppling in.